Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm going to do a quick video. It ain't going to be a lot of measuring or nothing like that. About a month ago, let me turn this down, y'all. Give me one second here. About a month ago, I did a recipe, best fried chicken thighs ever. The best fried chicken thighs, and it just, the whole video has blew up. I'm going to put a link in the video uh, description of the video here so you'll know what it is. For people saying, that, can I do the same thing with chicken wings? I say, absolutely. You can do the thing with chicken wings, chicken thighs, chicken legs, whatever you want to do. You, it works the same way. I'm not going to show the procedure on here because I'm going to show you a link in the video. But as you know, all I did, I seasoned my chicken wings here. I got the wings already cut. I seasoned with salt and pepper and garlic uh, powder. I put it in eggs and hot sauce, put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Yeah, I got eggs and hot sauce in here. See you that? Know, eggs and hot sauce. I marinated. Hold on, y'all, just a second. Get my colander while I'm draining this off. Eggs and hot sauce for 24 hours. Y'all know the procedure here. And I got my oil over here heating up. Matter of fact, it's like 380, but ain't no big deal. Once I put that chicken in that oil, it's going to drop it down pretty well. And that's just regular vegetable oil, y'all. Okay, back to what I was saying. Marinate 24 hours in hot sauce. I'm going to put the recipe in the description of the video. Now, all I'm going to do, y'all... I'm just gonna bread this in self-rising flour. Self-rising flour, y'all. That's all I'm gonna do. Remember, it must be self-rising flour. Not all purpose, not cake flour, self-rising flour. I drain the chicken, put it back in the bowl here. Okay, I'm gonna throw this chicken here right into the self-rising flour. Put it right in here. You gonna do half of these at a time, y'all. You cause you don't you don't want to overcrowd your your fryer or your grease. It's gonna move y'all over here to the hot grease there. Okay, I'm gonna turn this bad boy back up because I know it's gonna go down once I put the chicken in there. And all you gonna do, y'all, throw the chicken wing right into the grease. That's it, y'all. Simple and easy, right? Simple and easy. Like I said, I let it, you want to do it at 350. Actually, I let my oil get up to 380. And then I, and you know, oil is going to drop down. The temperature is going to drop down as that chicken get in there and start cooling it down. So we're going to fry these between 18, probably take about 18 to 20 minutes, usually, on chicken wings. Depending on how thick they are, sometimes they take 15 minutes. They don't take as long. Okay, we're going to kind of move these around in here. There we go. We're going to let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. We'll come back, take them out, and we'll put, them, put more in. Old school fried chicken wings, y'all. The best ever. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Look at this, y'all. And I made a mistake when I told y'all these take about maybe 10 to 12 minutes at the most, y'all, on chicken wings. I told y'all 18 to 20, not on chicken wings. Chicken wings don't take as long. These take about 8 to 10 minutes at the most. And when they start to float, depending on how thick they are. And you can see these starting to float. So you know these are ready. These bad boys are ready. I'm going to take these off, put on the rack here. On this nice rack over here, we got the other ones in here. These don't take long at all, y'all. So he's in there. Nothing better than fried chicken wings, right? And these are just the flats and the drums, y'all. That's all I got here, the flats and the drums. Flats and the drums here. Alright, we'll let them do their thing there. Like I say, five or seven minutes. Let me show you the other ones in here I got on the rack. See these nine chicken wings right there on the rack? That's what you want. That's what that self-rising flour does to them. Make them nice, crispy, golden brown. And don't take all day. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back when he's ready. 
All right, look at that chicken, y'all. Look at this chicken, y'all. Look at this chicken. Look at these chicken wings. These took about, these took about a little bit under 10 minutes here. You see how they floating? When they floating, that mean they happy and they trying to come out the pot, that mean it's ready. When you see them trying to climb up out that hot grease, that mean it's ready. So we gonna take them out here. Look how pretty those are, y'all. Look at them pretty, beautiful chicken wings. See that? I'm gonna put them over here. Make sure you put your, when you fry something, let me turn this all off. When well, anytime you fry food, make sure you put it on a rack. Don't put it on a paper towel. Don't put it on nothing. Think, oh, it's gonna absorb. No, it's gonna make your fried item soggy, y'all. It's gonna make it soggy. Look what we got here. Nice, crispy chicken wings. So anyway, we're gonna step off here and I'll be right back. We gotta do the taste test, right? We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. We just played a crispy, awesome, Chicken wing, look at that. Nice, crispy, golden brown, see that? That's what you do. You marinate it in the eggs and hot sauce, 24 hours in the refrigerator, season with salt and pepper, a little garlic powder. You marinate 24 hours in the fridge, bread it with self rising flour, that's what you get. Now y'all know I'm a flat person. I'm gonna open these things up. Hold on, y'all can hear the crispiness. Hold on, y'all, let me hear y'all hear the crispiness, hold on. Hear that, look at that. Look how Cook to the bone, huh? All the way to the bone, right? Look at that. Look at that, y'all. I gotta show y'all. Juicy chicken wings, y'all. All right. Mm-hmm. Nice and crispy. Juicy. All right. Mm. I'm just taking off here like this just to show y'all how juicy this chicken wing is. Look at that. Perfect. Mm. 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 Another thing y'all can do, or go to next level with it, take this, get you some hot wing sauce, y'all. Toss this in some hot wing sauce. You got some awesome buffalo wings. Awesome, old school buffalo wings. Well, anyway, y'all, I want to kind of <clears throat> show y'all that. Another way to, uh, so you can make fried chicken wings with the same procedure as I did the chicken thighs. So yeah, very simple, very easy. So anyway, <clears throat> let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow me on the social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness, old school soul food. Till next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. <clears throat> Ooh, love y'all. Bye.